Hi guys. Okay. I really loved how this one turned out. So, I have another repour. That I am going to use the exact same colors, except under is going to be painted black instead of white. And I might add black here with sparkles instead of the gray that I had. I had a sparkly gray before. Now I have a sparkly black. So, yeah, like I said, I really love how that turned out. So, here we go. Let's do it. Make Christmas tree. Okay, now we'll start with white. We'll just make check our consistency first, as always, guys. I did check them just a few minutes ago. These have been mixed um, and like sat here for I'd say three days, four days. However, since my la however long since my last video, I think it was four days. And yeah, looks good. Okay, we're gonna start with white. All the white. All the white that I have here. Be sure you don't, uh, when you're wiping your cups out, that you're not, if there's any dried up paint on the top of your cup, that you're not wiping that into your painting. Because it will come out like lumpies. And nobody likes lumpies, am I right? Yes. I'm going to save this cup. Okay. This one might be a little less white than the last one. Okay, since we have... I think this time, since we have a lot of red, we might... Hmm, let's see. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm loving this, this so much that I just don't know anymore. Okay. Alright. So I red, and I do see that it has, like, some little weird lines in it. So I am going to give it a quick mix. Oh, and I forgot to put my dimethicone inside these. So that's another thing I'm going to do right now. Let's drop in some drops of dimethicone for you guys so you can see. And I'm only going to put the dimethicone in my colors. This is uh, out of my hair serum, or it is my hair serum. My oil hair serum. Okay, this cup has half of amount of the, the, the red cup does. So I'm going to just put two drops. One, two. This one's going to get four because there's a lot. Two, three, four. Okay. Now the navy blue. The navy blue is going to get uh, three drops. And then we'll just check it quickly. Make sure. Yeah, it's good. Now, depending how I mix in my dimethicone or my silicone or whatever it is I'm using, it's going to depend on how big my cells are. Okay, so if I mixy mix fast like this, I'm going to get little tiny cells. And if I fold it in like blueberries into like a cake batter, uh, I'll get bigger cells, okay? I just want small cells for these, so I'm going to mix it in quite quite well. Alrighty, here we go. Can you tell the, the consistency, guys? Now I can just barely see my trace. My trace is when it falls on, the trace that's back, or like it lands when your paint lands on top, that's called a trace. If you worked in a soap factory, you would know that. And you don't want to hardly see any of that. Like some of it, but not, not a lot. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to switch this one up and just pour right in the middle. Maybe not. Or I might put blue underneath of the red like somebody did suggest to me. So I'm going to start with red here. Okay. Then this blue or turquoise. 
Okay. Now navy blue. I do want a little on top of my red, so I'm going to like put it in the side here and then swoop it around to hit the red. Okay. Perfect. I think that's in more than enough blue. I'm going to wipe my stick off, put my stick aside, wipe my side off of my cup, put the lid back on so that my lids don't stick later. Okay. Oh, and I do have this gray as well, which has silicone, so I might have actually used that gray instead of the black. Okay. Nah, I'm not sure if I should put any more red. I also like using these squeezy bottles because when you squeeze them in, it like squeezes it in and really makes it look cool. In the middle again, then around, just like last time. In the middle. This one is going to come out differently, I can tell already, because I'm doing it differently, right? If you do it even a little tad bit different, it is going to come out differently. Now, is that enough, or should I add some more? Maybe I'll switch it up. I'll put some of this turquoise on this side. Okay, we'll empty it. Save the cup. And we'll add a bit of red on this side. Okay. It's more than enough paint, I think, guys. So, we'll just do our flip now. Okay, wipe my cup so I can put my lid back on. Okay, so now all we have left is red, navy blue, and black. And I do like to let my cup sit for, like, I don't know, a couple minutes. So while I do that, I usually go into the kitchen and set my cups in water, wipe, clean off my sticks, things like this. Okay, okay. I should go pee guys. guys, sorry about that. Alright, we're going to do this flippy view. Ooh, it kind of looks pretty cool inside guys, I'm excited. Alrighty. 
She just lifts up her canvas here. Oh, we can't lift it like that. It's not going to work. I'm going to have to grab it by the side. Okay. Now we lay it on top. One, two, flip. Okay, that was pretty cool. I got to watch the paint come out. That, I kind of like that I have like this clear, clear dog bowl because I can see. Yeah, I'm really watching it come out. Cool. And we do have to give it a few, or not a few, but at least two, three minutes to come out. Should I pause it? I think I'll pause it because that's a while. Okay, I think it's been long enough. And I'm going to do the same as I did with that one. And I'm going to, when I lift it, I'm going to push it forward a bit and pull back. I have my torch nearby, my uh, palette knife, and didn't I come out with a cool palette? Yeah, I think I did. So I'm going to use this cup for my runoff because the last time I came out with a really nice purple. Okay, like I said, push and pull back. Push. Oh, I gotta make sure my cups are right. Cups are sitting right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? How they all come out so different. And like I said again, I'm going to wipe the excess on the sides so that they're nice and slippery. Things. We don't want to be fighting with the paint. Like, you guys know that already, though. Oh my god. I'm looking inside my cup, and it's just gorgeous. I think I'll torch my cup again for you guys. Just to show you, give you a preview. Okay, so. Oh, I really like how this one's coming out. I got cells before I even torched. I can see cells forming in here, and I haven't even torched it. Can you guys see? Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Too bad I... I, well, I guess I could leave it in there. Take it off after. This looks beautiful. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Like I said, we're going to wait into torch. Uh, because every time I torch before, I end up my cells all wonky and looking weird. So, I like to torch after the fact. Oh, I see some nice stuff happening here already. Can you guys see that? Oh, man. I figure I'm going to lose that, right? But we'll see. Maybe we'll try something different the way we uh, tor torque the paint this way. Or uh, the way we move our paint around. Maybe we'll do something different this time. My brother. Maybe even push up my uh, canvas so that it moves out. No, it's not going anywhere. All right. Let's do this, guys. Go a little bit this way. And we'll slide. Fans in denial. And we always let it go that way. Okay. Slide back. Okay, corner. Now back. Okay, now back one more. Maybe set it back down. No, well, we need it up. It's the only way it's going to move. Uh, 
Okay, I don't want to wreck it too much, so I'm going to pick that paint up like I did last time. Uh, find a clean cup, which is clean cup. Come on. How you like it now? And I think I'm going to have to torque my body over here. Half my paint fell there. Oh, wait, I saw some hair first. Wipe it. Wipe. 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 And try and get to the other side. Sorry, guys. I'm moving my camera. I can see that. There we go. Okay. And I just wipe it all back in my cup, and I'll actually pour the side or the corner there, and it's going to help pull the paint down. As long as you just pick it up nice and easy, you shouldn't mix it together too much and the white should sink and as long as you have it mixed properly, because the white should always be heavier, right? So as long as she's mixed properly, you should not have to worry. And I think I figured out the exact amount of paint to fit this perfectly. Oh, we don't want to touch that this time. Okay. Uh oh. Let's not spill our paints around. Move them back. Okay. I'll pick all this up. I got more over here. Okay. Right here. I just pour it right along the side, the corner that I missed, and then when I go to uh, dump it again, it's going to be easier to move, right? You see? See how easy that is now? Beauties. Okay, now we're going to slide it back a little bit. Just in case anything that's wonky can get fixed. And I think that's the perfect amount of paint, guys. I really did a good job on this one. Now, it looks absolutely 100% different than the other one. Same colors. Um, same colors, but completely different. It's insane. Now we just fix all the sides, make it look pretty. Okay, I think that one's done. Get this one. Okay. Now we get this side, make sure. And you just go like this and then tap your knife down. And the same pattern that is on your knife will end up on your on your canvas. My phone's ringing. Sorry, guys. It's not for me, so I'm not too concerned. My brother keeps uh, using my phone for phone calls and stuff, so I can just send the message. There we go, we're getting red come, because we need red for the corner here. There we go, very nice.